Hello everybody and welcome to this PHP programming tutorial. My name is George and today what we will be learning is how to use the switch statement. So, first of all we will need to declare a normal variable. It can be a number or a string. I will use a number first. And uh, we will write switch, now open parentheses, and inside this parentheses you need to enter a variable to evaluate. And in this case we will enter the variable we just created called bar. Now open brackets and uh, basically what the switch statement is all about is that you define several cases uh, to evaluate a variable and you will execute some code in case uh, that variable matches the value that you assign, you assign to the case. For example I will create a case just like this for 5. Just type it exactly as I'm typing. Uh, these brackets are not uh, necessary, but I like to uh, have them because it is more organized. So, type in case 5, just like that. And over here, we will write a message that will say the variable is 5. And now, uh, just end it like that. And now we have a case. And this case will be executed only if this variable over here equals this 5 that I uh, put over here. So that is my first case. Now you can have more cases, for example, you can have a case for 7 and a case for 10. And I will just change the message that is displayed so we will identify where one of, of uh, each of these cases are executed. Now go and save this file and now run it on your PHP server and we will see here that the variable is 5 and this is because uh, this variable is equals 5 and I have a case uh, to be executed if the variable is, uh, is 5 so uh, that's why I can uh, see that this code that this message is displayed on my web browser now what happens if I change it uh, to 3 and I, have, uh, I don't have a case for 3 so you will see that nothing will happen. So now that nothing happens, uh, you can define a default case, default case that will be executed uh, only if uh, this variable doesn't match any of these cases that you can define over here. So go ahead and write in default, all right, echo the variable doesn't match any of the cases its value is and then you can add in the variable so you can see what what it what its value is save this document reload the page and you see that the variable doesn't match any of these cases and the value is 3 so you see that the value is 3 and um, Okay, then none of these cases are executing. Now, we will see another example to understand a little bit more about the, the switch and case statements. If you do not use the break statements, you will be executing all of the cases that uh, uh, continue. For example, if I execute this case 5, I, I don't have a break function. Uh, I will execute uh, this code and then go on until the next break arrives. So, in this case, the, the message uh, to be displayed will not only be the case 5, but also the case number 7. So save it and test the, the code and you will see these two messages because you didn't use the break function. So you need to cut the, the execution of the code by using the break uh, statement. So that's uh, pr pretty much it. Now the only uh, thing that remains is that you can also use uh, strings as uh, values to evaluate but when you use the uh, strings try not to mix them with numbers for example don't write a case that says 5 and then uh, another case that says uh, value don't mix, don't mix uh, those cases try to keep all the code uh, being a strings uh, to evaluate or for example um, numbers so don't ever mix uh, uh, those type of variables.
now I will just execute this so you can see that it works it will show this message over here reload the page and you will see the variable 7 but it's really because I'm evalu evaluating the value case uh, for the variable so that's it and thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you like it don't forget to click the like button or subscribe to my channel if you wish uh, so thanks again and see you later bye bye